Hey guys, I'm Patrick Corbin, pitcher for the Arizona Diamondbacks, and I'm about to draw my life for you. I was raised in Syracuse, New York. Very cold temperatures there. Growing up with two brothers and a sister, we always had some competition around the house. My father built a wooden deck in the backyard, about the size of a half court. That was the spot in the neighborhood. Right after school, we'd go there, shoot till the sun went down. I tried out for basketball in ninth grade and got cut from the team and, and kind of shied away from school sports for a little bit. Ended up playing for my church team there. A couple years went by and got a little bigger, a little stronger, decided to try out for the basketball team in 11th grade and was able to make the team. The biggest game I remember from high school basketball was going eight for eight from three point range and scoring 38 points. I played a couple other sports. I played football, basketball, and baseball. When I started playing baseball, I was very young, just like any other kid, and my father would play catch with me in the backyard, and it's actually the same grip that I use on my slider was what he taught me. He pitched when he was a kid, and it was something I always wanted to do. I wasn't really too big into it until after 11th grade in high school when a couple of the basketball players on the team wanted me to try out for baseball, and so I decided to do that. I ended up walking in late to tryouts during stretch and just sat in the back, had jeans on, don't even know if I had the right equipment. And the coach came up to me and asked what position I wanted to do. I said, I'll pitch. And it kind of just stuck with me after that. After high school, I played on a travel baseball team and did very well and, and realized that baseball could maybe be something I continue to do at a different level. So I transferred to Chipola College. Being in college, I've learned a lot about baseball every day you are getting better but weighing 150 pounds at the time was not ideal for a baseball player to throw every five days so started lifting and learn how to eat better learn how to work out lift get stronger bigger and also learn the game of baseball on draft day in 2009 June 9th which was my father's birthday we had a party at the house and had a bunch of friends and family over didn't know what to expect was hoping to get drafted pretty early end up going in the second round to the Angels and it was a huge day, probably the best birthday gift I could have given my father. Going from pitching that year in college and then going out and playing 70 plus games, it felt like the longest year of my life baseball wise. It was very difficult, long season, being away from your family. In 2010 I was playing for Rancho Cucamonga with the Angels and we were on a bus ride going to Lancaster I believe and just sitting on the bus with my headphones wasn't really sure what was going on I got a couple strange looks at me and remember walking into the clubhouse and the manager telling me that I was traded for Dan Heron with Joe Saunders and Tyler Skaggs who I was really close friends with being able to come over with somebody like Tyler was great being invited to the 2012 big league camp was a little nervous you don't know what to expect the biggest memory I have was the first game I ever pitched and when Kurt Gibson came out to take the ball from me he called me Tyler and that was pretty funny because everybody thought me and Skaggs looked alike so I didn't know what to say I don't think I said much to him I remember coming to the bench and talking to Ian Kennedy and he, he had a good laugh about that one I remember receiving probably one of the best phone calls I've got telling me I was being sent to the big leagues. What an incredible feeling that is to know that all the hard work's paid off and all the time you put in worked. My first start was in Miami, Florida. I remember that first inning, bases loaded and got that double play to get out of it. Kind of was able to breathe again and actually pitch into the sixth inning and come out with the victory. I'll remember that day for the rest of my life. In 2013, I was selected to the All-Star game. Being told from my manager in front of the team was a great feeling. Knowing that you can compete at this level with such great players was a confidence builder. After 2013, coming in the next season, I felt strong, felt ready to go, and was excited to be named opening day starter. Ramping up for that season, I started noticing that my elbow wasn't feeling as strong or as good as it's been. Had some forearm tightness and never experienced anything like that before. I tried to just pitch through it, and the last game of spring training that season for me I was in my last inning, I believe the last batter, and just threw three pitches that I felt a lot more discomfort than usual. I knew something was wrong there and, and called out the coaching staff and the trainers and shut it down. After having Tommy John, you never know if you're going to be back at the same level. I try to do everything in my power to make that ligament strong again and those muscles around it. Coming back and knowing that I could pitch again was awesome. Personally, I feel strong, really good after a couple years 
post surgery, I'm ready to go and ready to get out there and make every start this season.